Hi, everybody. I am trying something new here. It's called Live Producer. And so I'm taking a risk. I'm taking a chance because I'm not that well um, educated on Facebook Live anyway. So um, I just decided to try this because they said the old version is going away. So I don't know if I'm going to be able to see your comments, but I'm definitely going to try my best and um, to have a go at it. We'll see what happens. So welcome, welcome, welcome. It is now seven o'clock. Welcome to Leadership Dolce, where I am serving up my sweet morsels of wisdom every Monday night at 7 p.m. right here in the Vortex, baby. I love the Vortex. I have people and leaders from over 30 countries in the world. Um, amazing, amazing. And so um, I'm Joanne Newborn. I'm a certified lifestyle and leadership coach. And I'll just tell you quickly about me um, and why I'm here. <clears throat> I um, work for a very large publicly traded company. I um, have my MBA from Penn State University, and I graduated Beta Gamma Sigma Honor Society. Really um, super proud of that because <laughs> I wasn't even trying for that. So that was just like a happy surprise. And um, mostly I have a real passion uh, for higher knowledge, and I have a real passion for leadership. Um, why? Uh, I have a long uh, business career and I have found in my career and I hear from colleagues and I hear from clients that we have um, a real lack of leadership in the business world and I, I would say probably in our country as well. Now I'm not going to point fingers or blame anyone. I think it's just something that we haven't paid a lot of attention to. Um, people don't really take leadership classes when you're in school and no one really talks about leadership when you're growing up. I mean some people may but um, it's not something that we're really taught very often. So <clears throat> I love talking about it and um, I am going to talk about it. I have to say I, I'm i seeing likes from people, which I'm like super excited about, but with this new um, system that they have, I can't see if anyone's writing comments. So if you write a comment, um, I'll keep looking for it. Um, and so apologies for that. Um, I'll have to figure this new fangled thing out. Okay, so I just wanted to say that I think the best way that I can help professionals who feel frustrated and unfulfilled and stressed out is to empower them with a leadership culture, right? Something that they can take and actually create themselves. And why? Because these are the things that are going to help you get your dream job with your ideal salary and a luxurious work-life balance. So away we go. Um, today's topic is like a super exciting one for me. We are going to be talking about toxic bosses. And why is it a favorite one for me? Because it comes up a lot and we have a lot of fear around even talking about it. There's so much fear around being able to just say what we think or be able to um, express how we feel. So I just wanted to be able to open this up today um, to be able to talk about it a little bit. So um, before I jump in, I do really, really, really want to acknowledge that we are quite a few weeks into social isolating, social distancing, and there are a lot of very strong emotions that are arising in all of us. Um, so I just want to take a moment to really acknowledge them. Um, I want to let you know that it's okay to feel them. Like, it's okay, it doesn't make you um, less strong. It doesn't make you weak as a leader because you're feeling some very strong emotions. Um, so I want to encourage you that it's okay to feel them. But the one thing that I will say that it's important to be aware of, that we don't allow them 
to take over our lives, right? To just run away with us and then we have no control over them. I think it's good to acknowledge them and to let them out and be connected to them. But then, and you give it a little spotlight, you know, and then it's time to move on. So I just wanted to be able to acknowledge that because I, I think we're all feeling some really, really strong emotions right now. Um, okay, so let's get back to toxic bosses um in my opinion when we are talking about toxic bosses um i just talked about heightened emotions right they probably have heightened emotions as well and um a lot of times they're like that without a pandemic right <laughs> they're kind of like that all the time um but i have a sense that um that the, these emotions are heightened even more in stressful periods like this one, right? And they'll probably act out in even more undesirable ways. So, um, you know, some cannot keep their emotions in check. And like I said before, it's not that we should be squashing our emotions, but there is a time and place for everything. And that's really important to know as well. And so, um, Sometimes you will find that with these um, toxic managers, they will end up telling you that you are being emotional. And let me explain what this is. This is actually called projection. And they are actually projecting what they are doing onto you. It's like they're, they're creating a mirror that they're looking in. So if you don't think you're being emotional, then just take it with a grain of salt um, and just recognize that they are projecting. And this is a skill set uh, that we can build, right? We can learn to recognize projection. And the one thing I do want to say is that we should also be aware of when we are projecting onto others. But I'm going to save that for another <laughs> leadership dolce. That's that's not for tonight's lesson, but that's good to keep in the back of your mind. So um, I am hearing more and more from clients and colleagues that they really are experiencing um, a heightened um, sense of toxic behavior um, from their superiors right now. And I'm not saying this is a generalization across the board, but it, it is happening. So I want to take into consideration a couple of options. Um, one, we are all going through this right now together, all of us. The whole world is going through this right now. So every single person is going through this. And some people may have situations that are less bearable than others. And so if you're finding that this behavior is out of the ordinary for your manager, the one thing that I would implore is that um, this is probably a really good time to have compassion. So think of that first, especially if you haven't seen behavior like this before. Um, but what I wanna talk about tonight is um, people that just don't give a hoot about their behavior and like the really toxic ones that are kind of like this all the time. So that brings me to point number two. This is your greatest opportunity for boundary setting. Now you might be thinking, um, okay, uh, so the person's behaving badly, but I need to change and I need to do something about it and I have to take responsibility for it. Um, I need to learn something. Yeah. So that's what this whole taking responsibility um, for ourselves is really all about. So if you aren't um, skilled at boundary setting, and many, many of us are not, so that's perfectly fine. Um, you always have the opportunity to learn how to set boundaries. It's never too late to learn how to set boundaries. And that's a great thing. So many of us really didn't grow up in households where boundary setting was taught or where there were good um, boundary setting experiences. But the great thing is it is a muscle that we can start to build. So you might experience something that doesn't feel right to you. And um, you may have fear around saying like, this behavior is not acceptable to me. 
And there may just be general fear around speaking up or speaking your truth. So um, what I recommend is try different um, reactions and see how they feel in your body. And you might not get it right. Um, and you might take a, it might take a few tries till you say, um, yeah, you know what? Like this is the right thing to do. So um, I'm gonna give you some examples of me. So I just wanna say, I can see you guys liking um, this and I can see that someone, that Anita left a comment and thank you all for being here, but this new bizarre producer thing, I, I can't see. So what I'll do is um, after I get through this, I'll, I'll look through and see if I can find the comments. And I apologize, technology is not my um, ex area of expertise. So um, thank you for fumbling through with me. So I wanted to just give you um, a few examples from uh, my experiences with um, toxic bosses. So I tried several different things, right? I um, tried these techniques and I realized they didn't work and I needed to be much more clear in what I was saying and, and setting boundaries. So for example, stay silent until the toxic behavior um, ends. Well, that actually made me feel horrible. When I felt into my body, I felt awful. And I said, uh, okay, that's a no-go. That's not really working for me. Um, I tried disengaging, disengaging with the person. Um, that actually didn't work either. Um, it only made the person more enraged. Now, every person's going to be different and every person's boundaries and ways that you um, find of working with them are gonna be different. So these aren't examples to say like, this is what you should do or not do. You could, you could try what I did, it might work for you. Um, I stated my line in the sand and this actually worked for a little while. But then this particular person um, started to find ways to get revenge in, in other ways. So um, it didn't work for an extended period of time. And um, then I tried, when I felt the person's energy coming towards me in an unhealthy way, um, I cut the person off. Um, and that seemed to work very well, um, cutting it off before it actually kind of got out in the open. So. Um, it might not work every time, but the important thing is to practice and start to know yourself better and start to know where your line in the sand is. And it'll become easier and easier for you. And it will feel scary at first, and that's okay. The important thing is to really build that muscle. Um, okay, so I'm going to say something that's a little controversial. <laughs> um, maybe you're afraid of being fired, or maybe you're afraid of losing money. Um, I'm going to tell you that that is a real possibility. Um, but guess what? And I promise you this, the money will come back to you in some other form. It really will. And the most important thing is that you have peace of mind and that you have a sense of who you are and that when you put your head down on the pillow at night, you know your own self-worth. I mean, that is more important than anything else. And that is gonna get you more money at the next job you might go to or a bigger bonus. Like, don't worry about this one particular moment in time because you are laying the ground for your career right now. And that is more important than anything else. So, okay. Um, learning to set your boundaries, yes. Um, I want to see if people have questions. I'm going to see if I can figure this out. Um, but I also wanted to let you know that I do realize that there are many people that are out of work right now. Um, and I have so much compassion for you and I'm sending you so much love. So um, every week while this situation is going on, I am going to post um, ways uh, for you to find work. So um, right after this is over, I will post in the comments. I have a list 
uh, from Glassdoor of 60 companies that are hiring like crazy. It's amazing. And it's all different industries. It's all different levels. Um, it's very exciting. So I will keep supplying these resources for you guys um, because I know it is tough out there. And um, I'm just grateful um, that we're here and that we're healthy. And um, please continue um, to post your questions in the group um, or topics that you want me to talk about. Um, I know some of these situations are very personal, so feel free to just email me at joanne at newbornevolution.com. Um, I will keep you anonymous, I promise. Um, there were people that wrote to me about toxic bosses. I haven't mentioned anyone's names. And um, if you're not on my mailing list, get on it. Get on it. I mean, I am just all the time sending out such great educational um, information. And my website is just filled with lots of free goodies, visualizations, um, ebooks with tips and um, quizzes. So um, it's newbornevolution.com. Go there, uh, sign up for my mailing list, uh, write to me, tell me your thoughts. I'd love to hear from you. Thank you so much. I apologize for not being able to see the comments. I've definitely got to get some help with this new producer's version um, of this. And I love you guys so much. And I was so excited I forgot my Dolce. So, um, ciao Italia. Uh, mille grazie and I'm going to see you guys next Monday at 7 o'clock a million kisses alright thank you bye